Welcome back everybody. Just a quick video today. We're going to show off a pair of shoes that I picked up. Now, some of you may be wondering, why did I get a pair of shoes that have bow laces? Am I going to get back into racing? That has yet to be seen, but it could happen. Now, I picked up these shoes with bow laces because flat soles. That's right. Pearl Izumi made a pair of shoes. The X Alp Flow Pop. Actually, they have a couple pair of shoes that are flat sole. We're just taking a look at these ones. These are the lighter duty of the two flat sole shoes that they offer with Boa. Full synthetic construction. And uh, I won't say armored, but there is a rubber, you know, like a toughened rubber cap on the toe and a rubber cap on the heel. Keep you protected. These use a one-piece rubber bottom inside. Uh, there is no EVA padding inside the shoe. So I'd say that these would probably be in line with uh, some people that like, like to run Vans. You know, some of the basic Vans skate shoe or the uh, 510 Free Riders. Some of the basic shoes with just rubber soles. No uh, fancy padding or uh, special cycling shank or anything to keep it stiff. You can see that... Uh, Pretty, pretty thin tongue there, non-padded. The insole that comes with it, very basic insole. And the inside of the shoe, again, very basic. Like I said, no additional padding or armoring inside the shoe. Pretty much it's almost uh, like a casual shoe. I'm gonna use this for commuting around, probably taking some laps at the wheel mill. Anytime I'm not really doing Anything, uh, you know, extended pedaling or anything like that, just cruising around. Let's, uh, let's get these on the scale and uh, let's see what they weigh because these are the lighter version of the flat soles that they offer. These are a size 48, so uh, they're on the bigger side. Odds are if you uh, get the shoe in your size, they're going to be lighter than whatever these are going to be. Holding the steady right at one kilogram. Which, for those that don't know what it is, we're right at about two pounds, three ounces. Now, the X-Flow Pop uses what they call their pin lock tread design. Hopefully you can get a good look at it right there. It'll be interesting to see how these hold up over the uh, next couple weeks. We're going to you know, try them out on... Some pretty spiky flat pedals. They don't claim that this is any kind of special rubber. Um, to get that, you have to go up to the next model, just the regular X-Flow. Now, for the BOA system on the X-Flow Pop, they use the L6 system, which means if you want to tighten them, just turn them in. When you're ready to release them, pull the knob straight out and it releases. They do make uh, BOA systems that can adjust in both directions. Again, because this is the more casual model, they probably didn't put it on here. You'll have to jump up to the next model. Maybe we'll get a pair of those in to take a look at also. Who knows? All right, so that's just a quick video today. I'll check back in with you after I use these for a while and uh, see if they're actually worth what they cost. These retail for $125, and I hope to see you out there. Maybe we'll ride together.